One Owner Car Guy, oneownercarguy.com. And what I got here for you today is a really unique car. This is a 1994 Oldsmobile Cutlass Cruiser in the wagon, obviously. But not only that, it's only got 21,000 one owner miles here. And I've went to a kind of unique place to take this video. I'm sitting on the Bitterroot River in Stevensville, Montana. It was the first town in, St in Montana and it is absolutely beautiful. This river just, it's nice to tube down. In fact, you can tube here and have your buddy pick you up like 30 miles away. Good stuff. I'm gonna do a complete walk around, kind of show you a once around. Um, the way this one will go is I've got half of it in the shade, half of it in the sun. Then we'll kind of move it and show you in a different area and a different lighting. Uh, if you're looking for a Cutlass Cruiser or a celebrity or whatever the body is in this wagon, Buick, you're not going to find a cleaner one than this car. This car is just nice as it gets. And I'll kind of give you a up close and all around here after my once around. Um, you can check out full pictures of it on my website www.oneownercarguy.com um, interior, exterior, the whole deal. Um, I'm kind of on a slanted piece of ground here so you're going to have to bear with that until we move it. Okay, that is your once around. Uh, it's beautiful and you get some compliments on it when you're at the pump you wouldn't imagine that with a wagon but people do like it I'm gonna go down in the sides and show you anything wrong with it and there's not much besides these pieces here are fading on the top and I'm gonna come from the back forward to where you can kind of see beeswax or something in the paint there um, little tiny scuff there, little nick there. You're gonna see that kind of stuff here or there on it. Um, it's not perfect in any way, but it's pretty darn close. Um, going across the top, you see little spots there, and mostly on this piece. Um, could easily be touched up and everything, just at this point. It's not. Um, the guy put a smaller tire. It's got a P18575R14. And with that smaller tire, you definitely get a little bit more um, off the line pizzoodle, I guess you'd say. A little bit faded on this pop metal around the trim here. And the black, as you can see, is a little thin. It's still in good shape. It's very nice. Just kind of faded as it gets. Windows totally clear. This car is clean as it gets. Plain and simple. Um, when it comes to the little vinyl pieces, plastic pieces, Cracking that one there and right there. And some fading chipping. You can see right there starting on it. Little miscellaneous chips in the back bumper, gouges and such. Nothing serious. Lenses are in good shape. Um, show you down the sides here. The car is beautiful. It's not rusty. It's not been went through the hard winters or nothing. It's a San Diego car and we just brought it to Montana here um, in the spring ding right there. Looks like the broom handle fell on it or something. Um, the worst thing I can say about this car is these pieces here you could replace them if you wanted to. They get a little cracked up. And this one has got cracked up. And I guess we're going to have to listen to the neighbors clap here at this moment. But hey, that's just the way it goes. Okay, super clean. That's your once around. I'm actually going to just hop in and move it back into this spot, point it a different direction. And... We'll do that, see how this works out. Now this is a totally new area for me to do this here walk around in. I've not done it here before, but I liked the idea of being by the lake. Lake? There's no lake here by the river. And even though I didn't have the perfect nobody around type of a thing, I would really like to do this by the river. Yeah. She's asking me where I'm going. And we're gonna go right back where we were and kind of get a different approach here right at the river. Kind of maybe get it even more evened out this time. Oh, that's nice. Okay. I'm gonna show you the interior in a different lighting. I hate how you get them shadows and stuff when you're in the sun. And the same goes for the motor. I actually may show it right now in the sun and in the shade to kind of give you a better idea. Um, they have 
lots of tread on the tires. And let me go ahead and get this open for you. I'll show you in the shade too to where you can actually see. But this car is just as clean as it gets. Nice 3100. It's a great motor. Um, even the original padding up here. Just as clean as can be. And that is that. I think I showed you both sides of it as far as a walk around. And now I'm going to kind of walk around it from this different angle. God, it looks nice with the river behind it. It's a clean car. That's all there is to say about it. Um, I found a couple more things as I went around it that I wanted to show you that I actually have seen and you just forget because it's a little scuff or something here or a little scuff there. Hey, you can see my head popping up in there. Sure looks good. Okay. The other scuff I've seen. Well, I don't know if I showed you, but this side has it happening lightly along the top piece there. And that happens. There are plastic pieces. A little scuff there that might buff out. This one ain't going to buff out, though. Scuffed into something. And I kind of mentioned it, but didn't 100% show that one. It's in good shape. Like I say, plenty of tread. Not all dry rotted out or nothing. Um, but they are a size smaller, so it's definitely got a little bit of a different feel when you drive it. You got a little bit more off the line pazoodle. Pazoodle? Yeah. That's right. Pazoodle. I'm gonna... You know, it's very lightly discolored in there. A little chip here in the paint. These fade over the years and it's not a hundred percent on. It's pretty dang close but not a hundred percent. And with this time with people walking around behind me and all this kind of stuff it's a little hard to do but we're doing it. It's just a different area. I wanted to show little flakies right there. And it's because I had this top area redone. That was a leaf. But there is some, there we go. Like right there. It just wasn't taped off right. 100%. There's that little flaky on the thing. Maybe you can see the discoloration a little bit better on this side in a different light. You can see Breeder and Samantha in the window there. Nice caps, the whole deal. Okay, that is the outside. Oh, there's a little scuffy bump. A scuffy bump? Sure, whatever you want to call it, right there. Um, there is a chip in the windshield right about there. And I won't guarantee it's not the only one. A little slight bubblies here. Bubblies. And that's about all I can say on it. Um, this lip is just a little bit higher on this side. It almost seems like it needs that little piece in there twisted a little bit, adjusted. Um, and man, I can't see. She's wanting to show me something else here. Oh, let's see here. What are you trying to show me? Oh, yeah. This is scuffed and... This has got a crack on it right there. If you wanted to get that 100%, you'd have to get that fixed in there. But it definitely, I almost missed that, and that's good to show. I want to show everything. Everything! And that's why I was kind of pausing here, and I do a walk around of my walk around. Now, if you notice, you got white walls on the front, but you don't got white walls on the back. Um, we had them replaced on the back, I believe, and you might have to replace them on the front soon. How soon? Don't know, the tires look dang good. The backs didn't look so good. They don't have no dry rod or anything. These are clean tires. I'd say you got 50% tire left all the way around. Um, so, that's your once around, your twice around, your third around. You went around this car quite a few times by now. And if you're looking for a wagon like this, you found it. That's all there is to say. So with that, I'm going to say thank you and goodbye. And make sure and check out the other videos 
It'll be an interior video, a test drive video, and that's about that. OneOwnerCarGuy.com, Nathan, 406-544-6919. I am so happy to be doing some car reviews now and getting some of this out, especially one up here while I'm in Montana in front of this absolutely beautiful river. So that's the deal. Thanks for watching. Have a great day or night, whatever it is, wherever you are.